I don't go into it thinking about like empowering women because I mean, that's not why I make the music. I'm all about the super confident like woman, you feel me? But it's like, we also do other things besides take men and be sexy. Like, let's talk about that. One time, like, we were up there, I think we were chilling, and then all of a sudden there was a shootout, which at the time I thought was so cool. I'm so happy I grew up. <laughs> My name's China. I'm from West Philadelphia. I'm a musician who raps. You know I'm all on my busy Bought up the DK and why on my ill Them bitches fake, but yo, this what it really is. Swerving on freeways on Philly. All on some I don't have the time to try to get your respect. I'm going to get it just because I'm not bullshitting. So once they realize that you can hold your weight, they either A, get really intimidated and don't want to you, or they really want to work with you. So it's like, the right people come. No brown got no etiquette. Ridiculous, start to finish, I be killing, baby. The thing I love the most about Philly is the attitude. It's a really grimy, very blue collar. I just like the concept of hard work and how enforced that is in just your life. All of that personality does show in my music. I like having to work. And I think Philly definitely <laughs> taught me that early. Can I have a chicken cheesesteak, please? Everyone's lived there for a long time. And I like that. It feels like you're going back in time. Every time I go, I feel like I'm going back to being a kid. Well, thank you. How beautiful is that? This was the first home I ever had. And I guess, like, this is where I did a lot of my growing up. Like, I used to drink a lot, but, like, all we could get was four locos, right? And I remember one time my mom, like, came home surprisingly, so I had to hide in the fact that they are still here. Five years later is an issue, but that means I'm a great hider of things. Always tell them, always have something to fall back on. What? Mm -hmm. For a little bit, me and my dad didn't really see eye to eye because he really didn't want me to do music. Like, he just was like, you need something that you can fall back on. You need to be in college. I'm was... proud of my baby. So I think the music really brought us together. And when he saw that, like, he has influenced it in small ways, he can appreciate it more. My dad's been collecting shoes since before I was born. That's shoes and gold. That's it. That's all I Kids. <laughs> <laughs> Once I graduated, I was like, you know what, like, let me try something that I wrote. Because I used to write lyrics all the time, like from the time I was in maybe seventh or eighth grade. So, you know, I just went in there and I recorded something. And they were like, like, you should have been doing this. Like, posted up in Narnia, sparking up the chronic. Third eye open with a lot of gin and tonic. And you look at, like, the move, if we're really being honest, I see it all in your eyes. The person who really inspired me to, like, keep pursuing it was, um, my friend Yams. Going too soon. <laughs> Musical genius. To this day, I just go to his Twitter just to read the stuff he said, because it's motivational. When you find someone like that and they believe in you and they have good things to say about you, you run with it. I'm so inspired. I'm so inspired to go write a mixtape. <laughs> I need my cheese tape. I would say all I need to feel accomplished is like my sanity, but it's really not that deep. I just always need to have some weed in my pocket and enough money to buy a ticket somewhere and I'll be okay. I'll wing it after that.